Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking 787 uh, Gas Station Cigar Review. Alright, this is the fourth in the series of the Gas Station Cigar Reviews. Today we'll be we'll reviewing um, Game Wine Cigar. Um, so I've done, um, I've done Switcher Sweets uh, BLK Cherry. I've done Backwood Sweet Aromatic. I've done um, White Owl Peach. So, um, I'm about to do Game Wine. Now, this is a heads up first. Uh, this is going to be a very long video. This is a, like a regular sized cigar. It's not like a cigarillo or um, a little blunt. Um, it's a very big cigar, so it's going to take me about 30 minutes to smoke it. At least, uh, if not more. So, um, if you don't want to watch a very long video, um, feel free to uh, you know click off click off this any any time. You know go to something else um, because you know I wouldn't want to. I personally wouldn't want to watch a video for 30 minutes, but that's just me. Maybe you are you like to watch me for 30 minutes or 40 minutes, but um, personally I, I don't like to watch 30 or 40 minute vid videos on YouTube. So we're unwrap it. Here's what it looks like, by the way. Oh, it's a little hard to unwrap. And of course, I have to be careful so it doesn't break. I can already smell it. Yeah, I can already smell it. Here's what it looks like now. Let's smell it. Mmm, very, very fruity. Very, uh, like wine. More like, uh, champagne or something like that. Um, very, very, uh, almost like berries. Like really, really fruity berries. Okay. And, uh, let's light it up. Okay, so my first impression, it's okay. It's, uh, doesn't get a lot of sweetness on my lips. I get this, I get this, I get this from a lot of the game cigars. It's almost like the sugariness is, is wiping off on your lips. Um, It tastes, um, not half bad, actually. I have to say for the first, um, I mean, I have to say for the, all the gas station cigars I've, re I've reviewed so far, uh, this is actually the best so far, at least as of right now. There's definitely a berry taste there. I can't say it tastes like wine. As you all know, I'm t under 21, so I don't drink wine regularly. But, um, you know, I've had it in the past, of course. Um, so, I mean, on occasion, so, um, it doesn't really taste like wine. I mean, it tastes more like berries. Mm. The end of it really is putting off a lot of the sugariness on my lips. So. Um, I don't know. It's it's okay. Mm. Now that it's about a a half 
inch down or something like that. It's kind of getting a little nasty. The berry taste is transitioned into this very, very burnt berry taste. Almost like burnt berries. Like, like if you ever cook something, you know, like an apple pie or like a um, blueberry pie, and you burn, you burn it accidentally by leaving it in the oven too long. This is what it kind of tastes like. Oh, but again, it's not half bad. Definitely the best I've had so far. I mean, the white owl, the white owl peach was just too uh, sticky sweet. To and this is not sicky, sicky sweet, but it's definitely a little burnt tasting. Okay, um, so what else to talk about? Um, Um, I'm definitely going to pick up a pack of, uh, Dijarm or Deharm, uh, close cigars to re review, because I really want to do that, those. Um, I've heard different things from people about the little, uh, cigars, the Deharm or Dijarm, uh, little cigars. Um, some people say they taste just like cigarettes, um, the old clove cigarettes, but, um, some people say they, they are very different, um, now, I never got a chance to try the Dijarm or Deharm, um, clove cigarettes, uh, before the law passed, uh, but, um, I'd be welcome, to, I'd be, you know, welcome to try, um, the new little clove filtered cigars. Um, so that's about, so I'm going to do that, definitely, definitely do Jarm, uh, Black Review. Um, what else? Well, I've done, um, here's what I'm going to talk about, um, I've done Game Vanilla, I've done Game Peach, I've done Game Green Cigars, now I'm doing the last one, Game Wine. I have to say, just so far, uh, it's not very good, uh, the the wine flavor or the berry flavor whatever it is uh, it's a wine flavor it tastes really cheap and nasty um I've had so much better uh you know cigars I can kind of see why people would I uh, just you know use these for pot because, um, they're just crappy cigars. I'm also, fi I'm also finding they're a little hard to smoke. I remember them being a little easier to smoke. Um, maybe I'm just remembering wrong. It's been a while since I've had a game cigar, probably, um, probably almost a year. Um, maybe about nine months. So, um, maybe I'm just remembering wrong, but, uh, these seem to be a little hard to smoke.
Yeah, these are not very good at all. But again, if you're really hurting for money, um, definitely pick these up. Because, um, around me, around me, um, in my town, <laughs> um, these go for under two dollars. These are about a dollar ninety. Of all the, um, gas station cigars, these are both the most expensive, for one. About a dollar ninety. These were actually free, actually. The reason I say that they were free is because I, um, I won, uh, like, four bucks on a lottery ticket, so, um, I used the four bucks to, um, purchase, uh, the two l little cigars, um, the Switch of Sweets, uh, BLK Cherry, and, um, the Game Wine Cigar. Yeah, these are very, these are not that good. Um, I could see smoking this at like a party or something like that. Um, bleh, bleh. tobacco in my mouth. Um, or a place where you're not really focusing on taste. Um, you just want to, you know, kick back with some, with some friends and have a smoke. Uh, and you want something that's going to last long than a cigarette. Um, these are probably perfect. But if you really want something to relax and focus on, you know, good taste, I don't recommend these. It just tastes really, really cheap and disgusting. I mean, uh, the vanilla one tastes better. Uh, this is... I found that these wine flavored cigars, cigarillos, whatever, little cigars, don't taste very good. It tastes like really nasty berry taste. Um, so that's not about it, but I mean, it's just. Again, if you're really hurting for money, you, you can pick these up. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch them. Um, these are probably meant to smoke weed. I mean, again, I'm not smoking weed in it, but uh, these are probably meant for weed because because it just tastes nasty. I mean, it's just. There's, no, there's really no good taste from it. Um, yeah, and these uh, burn very, very not evenly. Um, well, they burn even. <coughs> excuse me, uh, but they burn, they burn evenly, but um, they um, they kind of fall apart. It's just very, very squishy tobacco in there. Ah, next smoke ring. So, um, yeah, um, I'm debating whether or not to, to, to review the entire cigar. I mean, you know, um, show me smoking the entire cigar. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, if, I mean, I don't think this cigar is going to have any more transitions. I think it's just, I, transitions, I think it's just going to get nastier, 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 and smoke it down. Uh, so, I mean, you can leave a comment, do you think that, um, I should, I should review the entire cigar, like, I should smoke the entire cigar in the video, or do you think I should just, you know, do a 10 minute video where I review the first, you know, half of the cigar, or quarter, or whatever. Because there's really not much to say about this. 
I mean, except that it just is nasty and it, um, it's really a, it's a very squishy cigar. There's not much to say. Mm. Um, now on the chance that this video does not upload, uh, I had a problem with the White Owl Peach uploading. Um, it was just, did not upload, it was a corrupt file, so I'm going to uh, if I, if this doesn't upload, uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, make a shorter video, um, of, of the game CR, game wine video, CR video. And I'll uh, just uh, do like a three or four minute video re reviewing it and just going over like summarizing it, kind of like a cheat sheet. I also notice these go out. You also have to like keep puffy on them to keep them lit, uh, which also proves they're not very well made. Uh, but if you're really hurting for money, this is what you should pick up. So, as far as next week, um, for, because I do gas station cigar reviews Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on, um, summer break, this summer break, um, as far as the next week, it's going to be all black mild. Yep, all black mild. Uh, I think uh, Monday will be uh, black and mild sweets, and then Wednesday will be black and mild classic. And then Friday will be black and mild, um, mild. I'm actually doing pretty well my O's, my rings, um, because, uh, I am doing pretty well. Ugh. I just notice it now. This, uh, this cigar leaves a horrible aftertaste in your mouth. A horrible aftertaste. It's like cough syrup, I think. I mean, it's, it's gross. As far as taste profile now, it's transitioned to this very, very nasty berry taste. Very, very nasty. Um, uh, I'll get to rating these in a little bit. Uh, um, now, I just want to talk about one thing else before I get to rating these. Um, and I mean, just for a heads up, these are not going to get a very good rating. Um, uh, um, somebody commented on, commented on my uh, video, my recent video, Are You Supposed to Inhale Black and Mild? And they said, um, uh, what's the point of smoking if you don't inhale? <coughs> Um, well, I think the point of smoking, if you don't inhale, is to smoke for the taste, the flavor, the aroma, not the buzz. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you don't have to smoke for, you know, the buzz or high or whatever you want to call it that cigarettes give you or uh, whatever. You know, if you want to smoke just for the taste, that's fine. I smoke just for the taste. I don't smoke to get a buzz or, you know, that's why I don't inhale. Also, by 
know inhaling you reduce your risk of, of, of serious health problems. Uh, so, that's another good side of, it, of not inhaling. Yeah, I don't inhale my pipe, I don't inhale my cigars, I don't inhale my cigarillos, my little blunts, I don't inhale my tobacco blunts, um, I don't inhale my hookah, I used to inhale my hookah a little bit, but then I don't, I, I chose not to anymore, um, I don't inhale, I really even don't inhale cigars when I smoke them, I mean I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, but um, when I used to inhale, when I, when I used to smoke them, um, I never inhale them, so I, I just don't inhale in general. Like I said in my uh, black and mild uh, video about whether or, not you're, whether or not you're supposed to inhale those, I would much rather have a problem with my mouth or my throat or, you know, something, you know, outside, you know like my mouth, that I that have a problem with my lungs, or internal, um, that's just me, I mean, different people think different things, but, um, I don't want to have, like, you know, problems with my lungs and be coughing, that's why I don't inhale. And to demonstrate, this is how you don't inhale. You take the cigar, Put it to your mouth, put it to your lips, suck in, and blow out. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, increase the flavor of it, you can exhale through your nose. That's not inhaling, so, um, I used to think it was inhaling, but it actually is, isn't, it's, isn't, it's actually called retrohaling. So, um, retrohaling is like when you do this. Not sure if that worked. It worked. Um, let's get to rating the cigar. Okay. Yuck. Yeah, these are not going to get a very high rating. Uh, and it's, actually, the oil from it is coming off on my fingers. It's actually so messy, the cigar. If you look at the tip of it, there's actually oil and probably tar. It's coming off of it. That's why I'm getting that nasty taste in my mouth. So this is not well made at all. So um, let me try to clean this off. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure if I can finish this cigar. Uh, for to for tobacco taste, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. This is probably one of the worst cigars I've ever, I've ever had. Um, um, probably for tobacco taste, we give it a one out of ten. Um, it's disgusting. Um, absolutely nothing good about it. It's just a really cheap, nasty tobacco taste. Um. flavored, you know, for the flavor of it, the food flavoring, the ameliorate, um, I'm really not keen on it at all. Um, you know, initially it was a really, really good taste, it was a really, really, really good, um, it's really sugary, also like a, I hate to say it, but like also like a, like um, like a acid kuba kuba, and Reverend Brewer don't kill me over this, because I know Reverend Brewer hates these cheap cigars. So, it actually did taste like a little ass kuba kuba at first, but other than smoking it, I mean, let me get out. For bed. 
look at the end of it. It's, it's covered with like like an oily paste. It looks like BP drilled a cigar. No political pun intended. <laughs> so I mean, um, yeah, I mean, this is a, a nasty cigar. Uh, wine flavor, flavor taste is going to get a one out of ten. It's nasty. You know, unless you have that first, you know, five or ten minutes of me smoking it. So. Um, so overall, this cigar gets a one out of ten. It's probably the worst thing I've ever smoked. Mm -hmm. Again, I'll still be doing the gas station cigar reviews. I don't care how nasty they taste. I don't care how nasty they taste. Um, I'm going to still be doing them. Um, but i got to tell you, this is probably one of the worst things I've ever smoked. Yeah, not much to say about this. It's just really, really cheap. Really, really disgusting. Uh, we're almost done with it, thankfully. You know, usually I'm like, oh, I'm almost at the end of the cigar. Oh, I wish there was more of it left. This, I can't wait to finish. This is disgusting. So, uh, yuck. I can't really place my, put my finger on the taste anymore. I mean, the, the berry flavor is completely gone. It tastes like, a, like uh, basically like, a little bit like cough medicine, a little bit like, um, really, really, really cheap something or another, I don't know. Um, like, um, Like, I went to Montreal last year, uh, in April 2010. Um, and of course, drinking, after, drinking age up there was 18. Uh, so, so I had, a you know, some drinks. Um, and I had some whiskey at the bar. Um, these are the drinking ages of the 18 up there. This is, this is what I would imagine this would taste like, you know, um, you know, the whiskey up there was really good. It was really nice, uh, top line, you know, whiskey in Montreal. Uh, but, um, this tastes like really, 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 really cheap, cheap, cheap alcohol. That's what it, that's actually what it tastes like to me. Hmm? It tastes like really, really, really cheap, cheap alcohol. Hmm? That's how, it's disgusting. I mean, it at least tastes like, you know, it's supposed to be wine, and wine is alcohol, so I mean, but this tastes like really, really, really disgusting. Like, what you would imagine people smoking back in the 1600s, 1700s, you know, in colonial days. Yeah, if you talk to anybody who's a historian or, you know, you research the colonial days in America or Europe, uh, you'll find that the alcohol and tobacco tasted nasty, even worse than today. So I don't, I don't even want to imagine what this would taste like back then. So, it gives a 1 out of 10. It's probably the worst thing I've ever smoked. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're... Even if you're really hurting for money, I recommend, you know, spending, you know, 90 cents less. Ugh. Um, on like, um a backwoods or something like that, or, um, even a black and mild. I mean, black and mild, uh... Oh, hi, kitty! That's my cat! Oh, no, 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 that, that's not kitty food, that's tobacco. He was actually going to eat the ashes. Yeah, I don't think uh, tobacco ashes would be very good for a kitty's stomach. Um... Yeah, I don't want him to get sick. Um... And yes, he's an outdoor cat. Um... You know, don't judge me for what we do. Um, um, 
So, um, I just wanted to briefly discuss, uh, now that we've done rating the cigar, it's nasty, it sucks. Um, I wanted to be discussing what I'm going to do for next year. Um, as you all know, I'm going to be going to college next year to study paralegal studies, uh, and maybe one day become a lawyer, I don't know, or a defense attorney. Um, so, probably not, but, um, so, uh, the videos may become more limited in the fall of 2011 because I'll be having a lot of homework. I may be home, you know, a couple days in the week because I won't be going to, uh, Mass Bay, my college, uh, every single day, but, um, but, um, I'll, um, I'll, um, you know, have a ton of homework. I have a ton of homework, so I mean, I mean, paralegal studies is a lot of homework. So, yeah, it's a lot of homework, and um, yeah. Uh, so, don't expect uh, as many videos as uh, I've been putting out for the last, you know, year and a half. This is disgusting. This, I mean, this is the worst cigar I've ever smoked. I mean. If you're going to invest in a game cigar, do not invest in this cigar. I actually had a friend ugh, who smoked a honey flavored Dutch Masters, and there will be Dutch Master reviews this summer. Probably when I pick up the Dijarm uh, or Deharm uh, Blacks. Um, um, but, uh, um, he f smoked a honey flavored Dutch Masters and he said it fell apart and it was disgusting. So I'm putting this out now. I can't smoke this anymore. I didn't finish it. It's so nasty I didn't finish it. This is disgusting. Game wine cigars get a 1 out of 10. They are freaking, 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 fucking nasty. Uh, 1 out of 10. Don't pick them up. Hmm. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye. I'm going to wash my mouth out. This is disgusting.